Right, so leadership is a skill. So how lead? Leadership is a skill, like programming, and you can learn. So to become a good leader, you need to learn leadership skills. There are books, there are courses about it. We have the book, The Lead Developer Essential, specifically, Lead Developer Essential, specifically for iOS developers, for developers, right? For developers. Because leadership is a skill, and you can be a good leader, but not be a good developer. And you can be a good developer and not be a good leader. If you want to be both, you want to be a good lead developer. You need both technical excellence and leadership skills, right? You can learn them in parallel. You don't need to read only books about technical expertise, right? You can learn one book about programming, one book about leadership, one book about programming, one book about leadership. That's why we have two sections also in our book suggestions, you know, of the programming books and then, you know, the software engineering books and then the all the general education, but most of them are focused in leadership. So most of them, if you check there, we have less code, less book suggestions about <laughs> actual <laughs> development and more about personal development. Yeah. yeah. Which we find it sometimes even more important because you can be the best developer in the world. But if you don't develop yourself, you won't be able to lead. You won't be able to make an impact. Exactly. Come back to to the point of the attitude, you know, and the attitude is like, we, ca we can't do that for you. You know, we can teach you here how to test stuff and how to structure properly <laughs> your architecture, but the attitude is something that you need to do and how you're going to do it. You know, like you need, you need to understand that. So, so that, that's why we, we focus like tremendously on this. So leadership is a skill. If you want to become a good lead developer, you need both to be a good developer and a good leader. So you need to learn both and you can do it in parallel. The earlier you start, the better. Usually we start thinking about how to become a good lead when we are already senior with 10 years experience. But then you need to run after the fact that you're not a good leader. Like, so, you know, if you start right now, you have three years experience and you start already learning about leadership. Like in the next three years, you'll be much better technically and already with leadership skills. So you'll already be a senior ready to lead, you know, so don't wait to become a senior, to start thinking about leadership. And that's why we added all of this in the program as well. Because the earlier you start this, the best.